Hi, my name's Tom. I'm an edit assistant and a graphic designer, and I'm going to show you how to create a collage using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so a particular collage that I'm going to create today is going to be a selection of images that I took at a gig a couple of, uh, couple of years ago. So what I'm going to do is here's a, here are all of my images that I've got selected that I want to put in this collage. So I'm going to click and drag over all my images. And I'm going to right click at the top and open with Adobe Photoshop. So now Photoshop's going to go through and open the images. It's going to create them in this toolbar on the top here. So here we go, here's a picture of Lethal Bizzle performing, performing live. Now you may want to open each picture individually depending on your machine. This happens to be quite a fast machine so you can have as many images as you want open. But if you've got a slightly slower machine, if you take one image at a time that'll not crash again crash your laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my uh, initial canvas which is where I'm going to put all my images onto. So in order to do that I'm going to use the shortcut because I find shortcuts the easiest way to work. Holding down Apple and pressing N. So this is giving me this new win window here. I'm going to go to my preset, international paper, just find that easier and I'm going to select an A3 size picture again it doesn't really matter how big or small you want to go now because these images are of a quite high quality if I keep the resolution at 300 you're not going to reduce the quality of the images so hit OK so now you can see we've got a completely blank white canvas here ready for your pictures so now what I'm going to get do is I'm now going to take each layer as I have here. I might not use that image, it's not so good. Or that one, it's a bit blurry. And I'm going to drop them onto this white page. So along this toolbar up here, I'm going to click on the image that I want to move across. So we can see it there in full. So with the one of the images we have selected here, we want to move it from this palette here to our blank white canvas. So clicking on the image again in the toolbar along the top, I'm going to right click on the background image, select duplicate layer. Now when working with a collage of pictures it's best to name your layers because if you have hundreds of layers you'll never find anything again and it's frustrating having to try to work out which layer is which. So just for argument's sake on this one because this is Lethal Bizzle performing, I'm going to call this pick here Bizzle 1. Then we want to change the destination of where the image is going from the document, not the image that we're working with, but we want to send it to the untitled one, which is the white canvas we had earlier. So if that's selected, if you hit OK, you'll now see that the image is been duplicated onto this one here. So we can now go through doing exactly the th same thing. So right clicking on the layer, hitting duplicate layer, giving it a new name and changing the destination to our canvas. So as you can see that one has appeared on top of our image that we did previously. Just keep repeating this process until you finally have all your images in your required destination.
Okay, so now you've got a bit of a mess on your palette here. But what we're now going to do is we're now going to move and manipulate the picture so you can arrange them a little bit more effectively on your page. So, first couple of tools which will make your life a hell of a lot easier is the hand tool. So if you're holding down the space bar, you can move around the screen. Which gives you the hand, sorry, let's do that one again. So if you use the hand tool by holding down the space bar on your keyboard, you can maneuver yourself around the image, which makes your life a hell of a lot easier. You can also use your zoom in and zoom out tool. Shortcut for that is Apple or Control on your keyboard. And then pressing plus or minus. So we can zoom in and out. As you can see here, I'm just going to increase our layer palette size. You can see all of the images that I've placed on the canvas. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to just roughly adjust the pictures to, so you can see them all, make them overlap, make a sort of a basic collage, just so we can make a basic collage effect. Now the simplest and quickest way to do that is with the image that which you with the image that you wish to move around, if you make sure you've got the right layer selected, if you press Apple or Control, holding that down on your keyboard and then press the letter T, it'll give you these handles all the way around the outside of the image. If you mess around with these handles, you can now change the size or shape of your desired picture. If you hold down Shift as you're doing this, it'll move them all within proportion of itself, which I find is quite useful if you, instead of dropping down the first one uh, from the ceiling, down from the side into the left, so, holding down Apple or Control, and then press T. Holding down Shift, you can just readjust the size of your picture. You can also, if you maneuver your mouse just off the edge of the handle, you can now rotate the image 360 degrees to have a way you see fit. And now it's just a case of going around and doing this to all your zip. Hang on. So once you've moved your image to how or where you want it to be, if you press enter, that will now leave that layer where you've left it. And it's just a case now of next. So it's just a case now of moving on to your next layer and moving the layers around. Apple T, Control T for PCs. Again, just pressing Apple T or Control T on your PC. Holding down Shift so you move the image within proportion of itself. You can place your images wherever you see fit. Okay, last but not least. So there we go, we've got a very basic collage layout there. Now, the last thing to mention is you may decide that instead of having one of the images in the foreground, you'd prefer to have it in the background. So for example, this image here, I think, would look slightly better if it was on top of all the images. So now it's just a case of going through and finding your correct image. To do that, you can scroll through your images by clicking on the eye icon 
and that just takes it from view. So this was the picture that I was referring to here. So if you now feel that that picture would look better sitting on top of all the other pictures, you can move the layers around to change the sort of structural layout of each image. The best way to think is it the best way to think of this is if you were making a collage out of pictures on a canvas by hand. So you would move pieces of paper on top of each other in order to get the desired effect that you wish to see. And this is pretty much exactly the same process. All you need to do is click on the layer that you wish to move above all the others and just do exactly that. Click and drag and as you can see, we're moving the layer, pop it onto the top and there we go. You might decide, no, actually that wasn't a very good idea. So you can drop it back down, maybe a few layers. And you can do this with any layer that you wish. To achieve the desired effect. And that's how you create a collage using Adobe Photoshop.